Ron's ever lifted up in our thoughts and prayers. Um, and of course, uh, continue to pray for um, uh, Tammy. And uh, these are, I, guess, I think that she was in. I'm not really sure. Sister. And uh, their grandson, James. And uh, who else? continue to pray for Alvin. We all know that he had that uh, stroke and still probably feeling the results of that, but we just pray for the healing and uh, guidance and direction for the family and strength for Mama and Tony and Alvin. Amen. Uh, Mama Green has been battling uh, with her lungs, as we all know, and it was kind of up and down, but it seems to be more and more Pop's been having a lot of weak spells here lately. And so it's just, uh, we all need each other. We need to lift each other up in the thoughts of prayer. Amen. And uh, so anyway, just trying to get some preliminaries out of the way. Our next service will be August the 31st. Uh, I want to extend a personal invitation uh, from Dana and I and the rest of the family. Josh was getting married. Uh, at 2 o'clock next Sunday at Restoration Church. And, uh, I'll be doing the wedding. And uh, so, and then the, the reception will be in the Shelby at the Gingerbread Meeting House. Gingerbread Meeting House. Ceremony will be at two at Restoration, and then uh, the reception will be at four. So y'all come out and celebrate uh, this with us if you like. Like I said, I just want to extend a personal invitation. Y'all know y'all are family and welcome. Amen. talking about being transparent and melody and uh, being vulnerable. It's not an easy thing, but we got to be transparent and be vulnerable. I believe that uh, makes for an easy work of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's keep Cody and Melody lifted up in your thoughts and prayers. Y'all are a part of us. So uh, y'all have a place here. Y'all have a place here. We love you, buddy. So let's just open up with prayer and we'll just uh, turn the service over to the Lord. I'm going to ask Dana as she feels ready to just lead us in prayer. Hallelujah. Are you going to lead us in prayer, Darren? Pop's going to get her back to Pop here. God, as only you can, and 
for you only in the glory, God. And we thank you and we praise you that we know we can call on you and cast our cares on you. Will you care for us? When you they put those crown of thorns on your head, Jesus, he was carrying the cares of this life. He bore all of that. Jesus bore all of that. When they placed the crown of thorns on his head, it was it was the cares, all all, all the cares of this life. And we thank you, Jesus, for what you've done. We love you, God, and we praise you. We just ask that you would have your way. God, have your way, Lord Jesus. We don't have any agenda. We don't have any. Just we just want you, God. We sincerely, truly, deeply just want you, God, and what you have for us tonight, God. So help us. Let us be sensitive to your Spirit and what you're doing and what you're saying. And lead us and guide us and order our steps, God. And we thank you, Jesus. Praise you, God. Let's just worship him. Worship him. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
thank you that God that we come into a place, Lord, for your precious presence. Lord God, just manifest in love and care that people breaks away from their mind and breaks away from the mold and breaks away from what people has put off on them, oh God. Lord God, with the Spirit of the Lord is there is freedom, says your word, Lord. Lord, these people need to have their hearts set free, their minds set free, and know the love of God. Know that warmth and that protection, and know that all things are going to be okay. Lord, sometimes we face mountains. Lord God, we face things that we just, just can't, we just think we can't overcome. But God, we know that you pray us to be more than conquerors. And Lord, Father, Lord, we think that you are, your word backs us up, Lord God. Lord, we have no one to fall back on to human. Lord, Father, we can fall back on you, Lord. We know that man will fail us, Lord. But, God, you promise to never fail us. You promise to never leave us nor forsake us, oh, God. Father, we press into you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we just come into your arms, Lord, into your presence. We want you to have your perfect way. Well, let the walls come down. Let the walls come down, Lord. Let the walls come down, Lord. Tear the walls down, Lord God. Tear the walls down. Open the doors. Open the windows, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you for the fresh wind. Oh, God, for the fresh wind that is coming in, Lord God. And the sunshine, the warmth. God, there's been people who's been living in places of being feeling cold and alone. Hallelujah, God. The Lord God, today you brought them into a place that where they're going to feel the warmth of your love, Lord God. Where they're going to know that all things is working out for their good, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, Father, we thank you that you're an all-time Father. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God, that you're able to lift these hearts and minds and take off the weight of these people, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that your word will not return void. Hallelujah. That, God, if we stepped into a place of glory, that we stepped into a place, Lord God, where we cannot look back, oh God, that we have been changed, that we have been renewed, that, God, that we walk more and more every day in your likeness, oh God, that your intimacy, Lord God, be seen in the people, oh God, that your glory shine and be radiant through your people, oh God, that the boldness of the Lord come upon your people, oh God, let shame and guilt be removed, Lord God, break those chains, open their ears to hear clearly, Lord God, open their hearts to receive rightly, oh God, hallelujah, we thank you, Lord, that your word will be heard throughout the earth, oh God, that your voice will no longer be silent, that your people will no longer sit back and let things happen and not say something, oh God, that Lord, that we take a stand in the name of Jesus, that you have given us all power, we're all power to you, oh God, and we declare your word to be truth and free, oh God, Father. We thank you, Lord, oh God, that you're more than able, Lord God, and you will conquer everything, God. You will put every enemy under your feet, Lord God, and we will walk in the freedom of the Lord, oh God, and we thank you, Lord, that because of your freedom, it's your spirit that we walk in, Lord God. Hallelujah, we thank you for boldness in your people, Lord God, around the world, Lord God, bring your people to a place where they speak to the enemy, where they speak to the principalities and the powers, Lord God, and they speak, God, and they put them under their feet, and they make them disappear, oh God. Oh, Father, we pray for these friends who have been affected by these shootings, oh God. We lift up every single one. Let there be no guilt or no shame on these people, Lord God. Don't let them go bad, Lord God, if they've done. Don't let the people who have been affected to feel bad, God. Well, let them feel your love. Even that, Lord God, those who has planned these seeds. God, let your love. Oh, Lord, see, we don't want, we don't want, we don't want that, we don't want that because you know, we, want, we want retribution. But, God, your love, your love cast out all fear, all worry, and all doubt, God. Lord, we want you to have your perfect way in this house. Speak to your people. Express yourself. In the way that these people know that they've been in the presence of a mighty God. Hallelujah. I 
expected, but it's not the lyrics or the way it sounds. Hallelujah. But it's the spirit That's of the yes, song. It is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No fire can burn me. No battle can turn me.
Hallelujah. And he's, you know, we need to really pay close attention to those that we are connected to. And when we reach a certain point and we make a connection with somebody, don't be so quick to let go. Because you need them in this time of transition. Hallelujah. We need each other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and the season that you've been in is not a sentence. It's a season. Amen. And now we come to the place of transition. Oh, Hallelujah. And the transition is going to bring about manifestation. And manifestation is going to present a new season in our lives. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have nothing to give you tonight but Jesus. Yeah. I begin to share with Cody and Melanie. And I'm so thankful that y'all came this evening. We need this time. Ministry yeah, isn't just standing yeah, up behind the pulpit. Yeah, Hallelujah. And delivering the word out of the King James Bible. But ministry yeah. is one-on-one -on -one yeah, at times. Right. Hallelujah. It's when you sit down and you bear about one another's burdens. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you care enough to sit and listen. I begin to share my vulnerabilities with them. Sometimes I feel so inadequate. Hallelujah. And I know that you are coming tonight to hear a word from the Lord. And I've been busy and I feel so unprepared. But there's something inside of me. Hallelujah. That is always listening to the voice of God. And when I begin to identify that thing. Hallelujah with the God thing. He's always got something to say. He's always manifesting himself in creation. And you know what? Creation begins to stop the groaning and travailing. And for a moment, hallelujah, we begin to hear his voice. And we're caught up. We're raptured into him in a way that the world has not even had a clue yet, Cody. Hallelujah. That's why y'all keep coming and coming and coming. You went here and you went there and you're not satisfied because you know there's more. See, information is nothing if you do nothing with it. That's right. Hallelujah. And information is nothing without the power of God. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Activating that thing, yes. that word within you. Yes. I began to hear a word from Miles Monroe some time ago. And he began to talk about this very thing. Hallelujah, about information and knowledge. And that's all it is if you don't know what to do with it. Right. If you're not prayer, prayerful and seeking God's face. Hallelujah. And you know, when I have nothing else to hold on to, I hold on to the Word of God. Yes. Hallelujah. That's what I have my faith in. Yes. Hallelujah. When works, and I'm done all that I know to do. I stand. Hallelujah. Yes. And I Woo! expect to see that Word and not return void. Yes. The Word tells us if we raise up our children in the way that they should go, they will not depart. Right. So why am I so worried at times? Why am I so fearful at times? Why am I so distracted at times? Hallelujah. So distracted I can't even focus on my job. God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of might and of a sound mind. Addiction can't hold me. Fear can't hold me. Religious systems can't hold me. Hallelujah. But you know what holds me? We just sang it. He holds my hand. Hallelujah. He knows my nature, my true nature. Hallelujah. I'm no longer identifying with the man of addiction. I'm identifying with the Christ within me. Hallelujah. And when I identify that, everything else goes away, Cody. Hallelujah. If he has to erase your past every single day, then so be it. If you messed up today, Hallelujah, it's okay. Hallelujah, he's always starting with a clean slate. Hallelujah, hallelujah, because he sees you always as a finished product. Hallelujah, if we ever come to the place that this isn't a personal message, then we surely miss God. Hallelujah, he is the great physician. And if we have to take time to minister to one person in one service, in one situation, in one circumstance, then so be it because we all serve the same one God. Hallelujah. He's speaking with one voice. He's speaking out of one body. Hallelujah. 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 
I'm thankful to Larry and Sheila that they made it tonight. Hallelujah. Y'all complete this body. Hallelujah. Y'all are a strength to us. Hallelujah. And I hope I'm a strength to y'all. This service isn't over. I feel liberty in the house. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus.
focus on God and our free will is our mind. And that's our free will, our mind. And our minds are outside of the body. Our minds are out here in our brain. Our minds tell our brains what to do with our body and through our body. We don't have the capability of understanding how much power we have. Let that rise up in us. It changes our focus, Lord, and all. And we start focus on Him, His goodness, and His love. There's no mind, no compassion, love. Oh, it's just so overwhelming. And I'm telling you, I was so excited to come out here tonight, but I got so overwhelmed after I got here. It was just like trying to push me in. And I just didn't, I know I'm not going nowhere. It's not and I feel like we all need to do this. I mean, it's not just for people like me and my husband in addiction, but it's also, I see that in a lot of churches and it's everywhere. I mean, people here are so distracted by the world and what we think it has to offer us. And that world ain't got nothing to offer me. Not anymore. Thank you, brother. His mercy, His grace, His faithfulness, that we can go and extend it to others. Yeah. And I don't care if somebody, the person that you don't like the most is going to be the first one that you put in your life. Right. So put the pressure on you and get what he's got inside his house. And, you know, we have to learn to love like he loves us because he first loved us. I mean, and put that love in us. And our minds, if we're thinking on his love, then that builds our brain. It some chemicals to our brain and it builds our brain and we can actually learn how I'm definitely not there. I'm so far from it. It's not funny, but I'm this is just going over in my spirit that you know, the world's got we say that we've got depression or anxiety and just that we need to be on pill. It's the government, the FDA and all that that is seeing us and it's saying that we need medicine, but we don't all we need is Jesus. And it just, we have to renew our minds. That's what we need our bodies. And we have to put good things in our minds and feed our bodies. And our our bodies. It's just right. So, ooh. Thank you, brothers. Call me my strength, my confidence, my courage. Ooh, thank you, brothers.
may ask the word of the Lord in him. Hallelujah. He may not be where you are or where I am. But there ain't no doubt that man's got the word of the Lord in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he's just like the rest of us. We can be carnal as bed bugs. Hallelujah. But I love that man of God. And I refuse to see him go any other way but God's way. Amen. And we're going to sing the word to God's life. Hallelujah. So as I sing this song, let's get uh, different loved ones or different people God brings before us because I do believe that we should intercede one for another and carry one another. Lots of times, Cody, the best thing that we can do when we are in our midst of hell Hallelujah. Just look at somebody else's situation and circumstance and begin to lift them up. Hallelujah. Whatever it takes to get your focus off of your situation. Hallelujah. And either on somebody else's hell that needs your prayers or on the, uh, the God of all creation working and moving on our behalf. He has not forsaken us nor has He forgotten us. He knows our names. Hallelujah. And we have a destination. Hallelujah. And we're on our way. Hallelujah. He is jealous for me. He loves like a bird the king. And I am a tree. Living beneath the way All of a sudden, I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory. And I realize just how beautiful you are, and I bring your attention for me. Oh! 
like Jesus did. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. His love will not abandon you. But His love will draw you up out of the depths of darkness. His love will redeem you. His love will save you. Hallelujah. His love cannot abandon you. Hallelujah. 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 He said in His Word, Cody, if we make our beds in hell, He'll be there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His love don't know how to fail. Hallelujah. His love is unending. Hallelujah. His love is larger than the vastness of the universe. Hallelujah. My God, when I think about His love, hallelujah, and what it will do for me, hallelujah, something inside of me don't have a choice, Sheila, but to rejoice. Hallelujah. My God, have mercy. Hallelujah. I'm seeing this in such a way. Hallelujah. It's uh, indescribable and unexplainable. Hallelujah. But it is not unattainable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, have mercy. I feel His love in this place. His love brings about healing because His love has within it compassion. Hallelujah. His love has within it empathy. Hallelujah. His love is healing. Hallelujah. His love is unfailing. I can't say it enough, Mama. As I begin to listen, even though I was singing and, and trying to cause and, and continue an atmosphere of worship, hallelujah, that, that is here, that is permeated yes. this place. Yes. Hallelujah. And I begin to listen to Mama pour out, hallelujah, the life of the Father unto Cody and Melanie and the different ones. Hallelujah. Mama, the Lord, hallelujah, says to tell you, Hallelujah, I'm going to bring to you a new strength. Hallelujah, a new power and a new glory. Hallelujah, the transition that you're in is but only for a short period of time. For you're about to step into a new season in me, says the Lord. Hallelujah, new songs shall I pour out. Hallelujah, a fresh anointing shall come upon thee in the midnight hour. I will wake thee, hallelujah, and speak unto thee, hallelujah, the secrets, hallelujah, for the ages, hallelujah, that many might have uh, an experience with the life of the Father as you begin to flow and minister, hallelujah, through the Word and through song, hallelujah. Tony, God says to tell you, get ready, get ready, get ready, hallelujah, I'm erasing everything. Hallelujah, that you think about yourself. Hallelujah, and I'm establishing you firmly in me. Hallelujah, you'll minister differently. You'll see differently. You'll speak differently. Hallelujah, and you'll even sound different. Hallelujah, because it is I within me. And I'm going to pour you out a blessing. Say it the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
I just, I just feel such a presence in the house tonight. This is body ministry. Not only a poor faith in God.
I will work from the Father, and that's how I call it out. I will not return to the void. Oh. I will accomplish that with the Father decree. His seed in me, we all have his seed in us. Yes. yes, we do. His seed in me will bring forth the power. I will not return to the Lord. I will come to the fact that the Father that created his sin and may have the power to bring forth to the self those who are the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.
after service tonight, and he did. And a lot of those that may uh, look at the service may not understand everything that's happened, but I do believe that there is an atmosphere, an atmosphere um, that I can't keep using this word, but I just keep hearing it, that an atmosphere that permeates hallelujah, deep inside of a body, hallelujah, and brings about his very presence within us. Um, I'm going to, even though I don't have a, a great education, I am one who takes a great interest in certain words. <clears throat> and words capture me. And um, I ran across this word in transit some time ago and uh, as I was studying. And there, that word uh, intrinsic, uh, it has to do with something that was built into you and that is a part of who you are that cannot be separated from you. And the life of God is intrinsic in you. And that word, like Diane began to talk about and I talked about and different ones shared, and even Larry began to speak God's word, it will not and it cannot return void. It has to accomplish everything that is set out to do. And, you know, whenever I was, and I'm, I'm taking, kind of taking my time, y'all know me, I'm, I tend to get excited a little bit, and maybe even harder, but I, tonight I just feel to just slow it down a little bit. And uh, I really felt, you don't know this, but I really felt that um, I wanted Cody to come early and just sit and talk a while. And um, and I think it's symbolic of what God wants to do with us lots of times. Just sit and talk with us a while and minister to us. And, and in doing so, I really felt an exchange uh, take place and it kind of just carried on over into the service. There's been an exchange happening in these services. Hallelujah. Uh, and we've talked a lot about dying and living. But what's dying is everything that's not like God. And uh, uh, really what's living is already alive. We're just being made aware of that intrinsic life of God that is within us. Hallelujah. And as we begin to breathe His Spirit into us, as He begins to breathe the breath of lives into us, hallelujah, and we exhale, we're exhaling Him, hallelujah, and we're pouring out life. And, and Melody, don't, uh, don't reflect and, and think, because we said uh, when we were talking earlier, don't be ashamed or feel embarrassed about the way you explain the way God speaks to you. Because um, it's, it is a difficult thing to really explain what God's doing inside of it. But you are all over something. Um, when the Word tells us, let this same mind be in you, it's not talking about your brain. It's talking about your heart. Hallelujah. These are matters of the heart. And when he begins to work his mind and his nature into you, hallelujah, you begin what happens. And what you were saying is this thing begins to think differently. Yeah. Because when his mind is in you, the soulish part of you has to respond. And I believe and in some of the things that you were saying, if you've never listened, to, and we have uh, uh, some of Bob's writings over here, the house that God built, he's, he's, and, and these two words came to me today, and I don't know why, I just wrote them down. Two simple words. But I 
feel like God's speaking something to us. And the words that He spoke to me the other day was dissect. First dismantle and dissect. So what happens lots of times uh, when He's building His house, the way, because it's His house, look at your neighbor and put your finger on it and say it's His house. It's His house. It's His house. This is his house. And he's going to build this house the way he wants this house. He's going to decorate this house the way he wants this house because it's his house. I promise you, you won't go into my wife's house and begin to redecorate. I can't even do that. <laughs> because it's her house. And we're the house that God's building. So, and Kate, Kate Fairchild's another one that talks about these things. How as we begin to grow and expand in Him, something in us begins to change. There is scientific information that backs up. Now, back in the late 80s, I think in the early 90s, there was a, a very popular movie, and I, I think uh, I, I mentioned it this afternoon when we were talking, and um, the, it was the power of positive thinking. There's something to be said about being positive. But when you combine that, the power of positive thinking with uh, the Spirit of God, and being so aware of His presence, we, I had that song in my in my heart all evening. And uh, let us, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. And it says in the lyrics, "Let us become more aware of Your presence. Let us experience the glory of Your goodness." And so as He begins to do this work in us, I'm becoming more aware of His presence. Not only am I becoming more aware of His presence, I'm becoming more aware of how much I am like Him. And how much I care about God's creation. Because we were with Him. Here I am getting excited and trying to stay calm. We were with Him before the foundations of the world. And everything that I'm saying was in that song. It is in that song Diane was talking about. I'm beginning to remember who I was in Him before He ever spoke anything into existence. I'm beginning to become aware of who I am in Him. Hallelujah. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 5. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan. There's something in me. Groaning. Because I'm not yet obtained. But I want to act as though or as if I've already. Is that not the, what the Word tells us to do? There's a groaning and travailing within us, Sherry. Because something in us will never be satisfied. Drugs won't satisfy it. Visual stimulation won't satisfy it. Nerve pills. Anxiety medicine won't satisfy it. Companionship and love and superficial things of this earthly realm won't satisfy it. But there is a spiritual thing in us trying to connect the dots. Oh, Jesus, help me. I'm seeing in my spirit even now Jacob's ladder. Hallelujah. And it's connected. All the dots are connected. 
all the microorganisms are responding to the intrinsic life of the Father that I'm drawing my attention to, Cody. Hallelujah. I don't want to... Lord, help me. Come on. That's why lots of times, and I thank God for my wife, and, you know, I'm open to correction, and I'm open to being critiqued. God have mercy. I want to be one who gives out love. That instruction comes with love. That guidance comes out of a spirit of love. But there's something that gets so frustrated within me. With the world, their focus is so far off on things. If we could just become more aware of His presence in His love in His deity. That's why I want to say if I could just give you Jesus you won't never ever whatever your doctrine is of hell whatever your doctrine is of heaven you'll never have to worry about it. Because if you've got Jesus then you've got everything you need. Amen. Because Jesus has the keys to the kingdom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He went into the heart of the earth. Yeah. Hallelujah. And He led captivity captive. Hallelujah. There's things in you that the enemy has told you. Hear me with the ear of the Spirit. There's things within you the enemy has told you. Hallelujah. He's locked you up. All your potential He wants to lock up because He knows what you can do. Woo. See, the enemy really thought He'd done something when Jesus was crucified. If He'd known what was going to take place, He wouldn't have done it. Because what happened was He permitted and He equipped Hallelujah. What the enemy meant for evil in your life, Cody, God intends for good. Right. Yes. We were talking about some things. I was transparent and vulnerable with him. I've come a long way. You know, you wouldn't know, but I got quite a temper. The right situations and circumstances just might get you accustomed. <laughs> oh, preacher, what kind of preacher would say such a thing? One that's real. But you know what? God has brought me a mighty long way because I've stayed in the way. But you know what I'm aware of, Cody? That very thing that would try to cripple me has empowered me. Yeah. Hallelujah. And made me bold. Yeah. And given me power and confidence not in myself, but in the God in me. Yeah. See, some things in our life need to be spoken to. Ministered to. We need to drive some things. We need to drive the hell out of our lives. Hallelujah. And begin to introduce heaven to somebody, even ourselves. So, when Jesus went into the heart of the earth, He unlocked all the potential that is within you, Melanie. And even now, He's going into the heart of the earth. And He's got the key of death and of hell. You got the keys of life too. <laughs> keys to the kingdom. And you have that potential. Not just potential, but it should become a reality that what he possesses, you possess. Because we are co-heirs with Christ. If He is seated at the right hand of the throne of the Father, I'm seated at the right hand of the throne of the Father. Yes. 
If he was glorified, then I'm glorified with him. And when he was resurrected, I'm being resurrected with him. Yeah. If he can walk out of those grave clothes and walk out of that earthly system and walk out of that grave, yeah. then we're walking out with Woo! him. Yeah. These tombs, yes. Melody was taught, calling it the brain. It's a tombstone. But he rolled that thing away. Yeah. Hallelujah. And he's coming out of his yeah. place. Yeah. For you are his tabernacle. Yes. Yes. Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground. Ah. And die. Bide of the lawn. What's it going to do? It's going to bring forth. So yes, we've been in some hard places. We've experienced some dines. But it's only that we should bring forth life and resurrection and much fruit. He was the first. He didn't say he was the only. He didn't say he said he was the first. First among me. Thank you, scholars. Hallelujah. Not only is Jesus our elder brother, he is everything to us. He's an ever present, present help in the time of trouble. He's our husband. We're his bride. He's our group. He's our father. Jesus told the disciples, when you've seen me, you sing the father. I'm going to hit this one more time. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Hallelujah. He's taken, what he's saying is he's taken your death and given you his life. Hallelujah. This mortal don't realize it's swallowing life. And what's coming forth is life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah. Now he hath brought hammered. If you drop the W, it's rough. Read it. Now he that hath brought us for the self same thing is God who also hath given us the earnest of the Spirit. My God, Hallelujah. if we'll just slow down and let this word talk to us, he's going to tell us, he's going to exchange what's being hammered into you yeah. and what has been rough. He's going to make an exchange. He that it endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. The same mortality will be the same thing that puts on immortality. The same thing that died is the same thing that will be made alive. My God. He's quickening us. Hallelujah. He's quickening these mortal bodies. Hallelujah. Therefore, we are always confident. Cody, always be confident, not in yourself, but in what God is doing. If you mess up, shake it off and move Amen. on. You don't have within your natural ability to do what you need to do to get yourself where you need to be. But God in you is a driving force. Hallelujah. It'll move every obstacle in your way. Hallelujah. And it'll reveal the Christ in you. There's 
some things. Lord Jesus, help me. There's so much here tonight I can get into. Some 30, some 60, and some 100. Yeah. My God, I, I'm seeing some hundredfold people yes. here tonight. There's some hundredfold that's getting a hold of this thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I appreciate our best efforts for AA and, and all the different programs. But there's just some things that our very best efforts can't do. That's why God give us prayer. That's why God give us faith. That's why God give us hope. That's why God, hallelujah, extended unto us mercy. Hallelujah. When everything failed, that's what remained. His mercy saved me. Hallelujah. His grace gave me time. Hallelujah. I said I was going to be calm. Story. Hallelujah. I don't have a choice, Brother Larry. Amen. Yeah. Elder Larry. Yeah. My brother Larry. The prophet Larry. Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't have a choice but to follow the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Superhero Larry. Yeah. <laughs> Larry just might take a pony pill. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of those it's okay to laugh? Right. It ain't carnal. The Bible says that laughter do up good like a medicine. Hallelujah. Lord, we need some medicine. Yeah. That's proven out the time technically. It is. I'm really trying to wrap this thing up because I know a lot of you got to get up and go to work. And this one needs to get to bed soon. But you know, I'm not done. I'm just going to stop right here because I feel like God is setting us up for something extra, extra special. Hallelujah. I received the word of the Lord tonight. I received the word of the Lord tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not just prophetically, but in the spirit, in the atmosphere that's here. Hallelujah. How many is going to try to make it back? August the 31st will be our next service. It'll be on Saturday. I'm going to add Cody to the church uh, uh, group so that uh, he can. He went to culinary school and was quite fine cook. So maybe he can help uh, bring a dish or something when we come together and fellowship and eat. Uh, remember, Joshua will be uh, getting married in the Rebecca uh, next Sunday at Restoration Church. You're all uh, invited. And um, I'm just really, really, really excited about uh, the days to come. You know, if, if, if I looked at the natural situations and circumstances and, you know a lot of people might say well, what are you excited about you got five people like Bob Star said excited about Jesus yeah. but this place is going to grow in more ways than in numbers yeah. hallelujah I believe that there's an increase coming to us in every area of our lives Absolutely. hallelujah I know God has it's God that's done this thing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Dana and I couldn't do it if we tried and gave our best efforts. Uh, because if it's not God, it'll just... It'll be. Hallelujah.